Welcome to the channel, everyone. We are doing a McFly reaction. It is not a song reaction. It is us reacting to McFly, reacting to some of their iconic moments. This is a request, Patreon request, from one of our most faithful patrons, Christina. Thank you so much. I don't know what these iconic moments are, so we're going to see. I, it's kind of cool, Nathan. We're actually going to see some iconic moments that we probably haven't seen yet, but we're mm -hmm. going to see the band reacting to those moments. So it's uh, without further ado... I oh, was hit, facing right? Doug, and his face just went like, like white, like he'd seen a ghost or something. Yeah, we both turned around, and there was this like black. It was like the 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 smoking lost, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Hi everyone. Hello. This is Tom and Dougie from the band McFly. Hi, Hi we're, we're McFly. McFly. We're half of McFly, and we're going to be. Reacting to some of our iconic moments. Most iconic. Uh, moments. Are they iconic? Yeah. Hit me. She's just a loner with a sexy attitude. Wow, 20 years oh, ago. God. 20 I get years. The taste in my mouth. It's because I think it's that dude there. He had really strange breath, and I can taste it. Stayed <laughs> with you for 20 years. It was, yeah. You know the the coffee they have at like craft <laughs> services. That kind of no. coffee it's that coffee they have. Breath. But it was mixed with some other stuff. He was pointing to Harry, by the way. <laughs> that dude. Some girl has that guitar. That exact guitar. I know. That using that video. Oh, wow. You gave it to her. I know, and now I want it back. Okay. How Can I have that guitar? <laughs> I'll, I'll buy it back off you. How did that happen? He's um, probably I gave serious. It away. You gave yeah. it away. I Why did you give it away? Gave it away, it away as, a, as a competition. He's young. But you didn't, maybe you didn't like the way oh. it played or the way it sounded. Well, no, but it's history, isn't it? It's iconic. Yeah, is it? Maybe for our museum. Also, little fact all of the black and white bits. Everyone was painted green. Do you remember? No. Yes. Oh. She was in colour, and you and ever and we were all in colour. But everyone else, anything that was black and white, had to be painted green. Why? The, why? I think because the technology wasn't there to like <laughs> make. Because the oh. idea is that everything, the world, her world is in black and white, and she's the only one in colour. I don't get understand how technology went from black and white <laughs> to then colour, and then they're like, oh, how do we make it black and white again? And we're painting <laughs> green. Yeah. The winner is. <laughs> McFly. Oh god, no, oh, I hate go. this one. Yes, I love this one. I can't watch this. This is horrific. Tom's hair. I mean this is this ah. is probably the worst I've ever looked ever in my life. It was a very surreal <laughs> moment. <laughs> like very intimidating, I think. It was just like everyone in the industry's there, and we just looked terrible yeah, as well. Yeah, we're a Brit, man. That's <laughs> wicked. I still have that Brit up on a shelf at home. Mine's all wobbly. Yeah, broken. they're not great quality. Not great quality, great quality no. It's all that party we did after yeah. we did it. <laughs> this isn't the full clip. They cut my bit of the speech. Oh. So I don't oh, get yeah, that, that, that cringed what? out. Yeah, we didn't have like a whole speech plan planned, but there was a couple of things that you would like. The, 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 you know, planned. it was the make poverty history stuff. You know, I was doing my bit for, for charity and they cut. It's weird. You look at their hair here and it's mm -hmm. weird that they ever thought that hairstyle would ever look <laughs> like it's... <laughs> That, I don't know, that hairstyle was so terrible in those early 2000s because they look great mm -hmm. here. And this hair would have flown back then. It doesn't really have an age. Like you could have had this hairstyle in the 60s, 70s, 80s. Yeah. This hairstyle they both have right now, it doesn't really have an era. But that mm. early 2000s hairstyle that all those boys did is just horrific. And by their own oh, admission, yeah. they're like, it looks horrific. Yeah. Um, I taught school thinking. during that can... time. Kids coming in, and I was like, okay, we'll see if this sticks around. Hey, look, this is an old man fuddy duddy Ryan. I know. I have had the mm -hmm. same haircut forever. Finish your Brit speech. Do your Brit it speech was, now. Let's uh, let's make poverty history. This year we can make it happen. Finally, twenty yeah. years later, you've you've completed the speech. <laughs> that was a cool time, though. I wish we were better at accepting awards. Yeah, I wish we were a bit cooler. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about that. So either you either have. You're young. You're young. I cringe just thinking about how I was in my twenties. I'm embarrassed for myself. I'm actually generally embarrassed about my whole life in general, but the further back you go, I'm like, oh man, I, oh yeah, I wish I could have, we talked about this. I'm sure you agree. If you could have the knowledge you have now and go back to when we were 14, 15, I would like to do that whole late teenage, early adulthood life again. I think I'd be a better friend. I would be a better everything to a lot of people and to myself. I don't know. Don't look at me as if you think you do. <laughs> 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 Again, really cringeful. This was just my luck filming in. Is that a movie? New York, That's a movie, bit, right? Yeah, so we filmed 
a bit half in New Orleans and half in New York. Again, actually, this was filmed just around the time when I looked absolutely horrendous. Around the Brits. Oh, no, it was, yeah, because in, in that, as we're walking to the stage in the Brits, they're like, yeah, we're going off to Hollywood tomorrow. Oh, it was the next day, wasn't oh. it? Yeah, something like that. Oh, look at my movie. I haven't seen that movie yet. You, you were trying not to giggle. I, was, I definitely had the giggles then. I'm looking at the thing to distract myself. <laughs> Massive actor now. Chris Pine? Chris Pine, yeah. yeah. You know, one might say that it was his collaboration with us that propelled him into the yeah. Britain. <laughs> he picks up all the roles that I have to turn down from that. Yeah. Danny was offered the role uh, in, in Star Trek, weren't you? Yeah. Because, <laughs> well, I was too busy. And second of all, I'd never watched Star Trek before, so I didn't. Know, I just said no. Yeah. And then he took the role. Yeah. I, when we were doing this scene, had an allergic reaction to like a jumper or something. Do you remember when I was really itchy and I was in the trailer like scratching on, on stuff and our manager soaked in my a, trailer. A, a, a tra in my trailer. I was in my trailer. In my trailer. And uh, yeah. our manager soaked a, a towel in water and put it around me. And then we ate a pizza and made a movie. Feel the way that I do. There you are with your Brit Award. Oh, Dougie's picking his nose. Cheeky. Oh, this is okay. I can watch this. Not <laughs> wow, I wasn't wearing glasses then. Did I start wearing glasses after this? I hadn't become super nerd yet. The nerd was still evolving. So that is Love Is Easy uh, music video. It was a good video. So we did a lot of the video in like really long takes. I do love that Tom has embraced that look because I think it suits him so well. I prefer Tom without those kind of nerdy look glasses. I think he looks great, to be honest, either way. But I would say he looks even better with those glasses. I guess Just My Luck was a movie of Lindsay Lohan. Oh, and they were in it. <laughs> yeah, I think they probably had a cameo. Like, it was probably mm. a scene that they were in. I think that was the idea. I don't th I, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. But I suspect they were probably... There was a scene with an artist and a band. and But I don't think the whole movie was based around them. I don't think. We said to, we had, yeah. It was the only video I think we've rehearsed the video. We actually practiced. worked for this one. Yeah, we actually practiced the, the <laughs> movements and stuff. It was 10 years into our career, so we decided to kind of have a bit of a nod to some of the things we'd achieved. And wear suits. Wear suits. Well, we were in Brazil and me and Dougie were watching Bruno Mars live on YouTube, I think. We oh, like, cool. Man, that's so good. That's mm. so cool. Look at them all wearing suits and just like... <laughs> yeah, we should do that. <laughs> and then we went into Tom's room, like, Tom, look at this, do this. And he's like, yeah, yeah, cool, let's do that. But we're just, we're not quite as slick and smooth as Bruno Mars in his position, so it didn't quite work. And we just, we then really regretted it, because we had to be And then we had to wear suits every yeah, time we did a show, and it was like hot and sweated. It was like, oh, God. Yeah. And uh, obviously with like a collar and a tie, you can't yeah. really sing that well. Yeah, I regretted that yeah. one. And oh, dude, you remember when we, when we were writing this, Tom used to live next to this field and we we're in the field in the summer sat on a log oh, uh man. writing it and we just heard <laughs> we were like looking up in the no, air I, no, I, I can tell no i i was facing doug and his face just went like like white like he'd seen a ghost or something and this weird sound was coming and then mm. yeah we both turned around and there was this like Black. It was like the 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 smoking lost, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Like this black <laughs> cloud coming towards us. And I was like, Doug, what is that? <laughs> it was a swarm of bees. And then oh, they weren't wow. coming to get us. They were just they were just moving home. So oh, we just sat I was still so sad. That would make me very like, nervous. Like, yeah. Really slowly. Yeah. And then they just. That would make me very nervous. Did you even know I was gone? Oh, so embarrassing. <laughs> It was so embarrassing. I can't watch this, so cringeful. I can't. No, I couldn't. Joke, when I, first joke, it, actually. I was like, it's too close to my face. Not the bits that we're in, but this, that. this bit. Yeah. Oh, I just feel bad for him. It's very close, isn't it? Yeah, it's too it's close. Very close. Veiny neck. I get a veiny neck when I see But that's passion for you. He's got Wallace and Gromit's teeth there, look. I love it. <laughs> like, perfectly flat teeth. Like, <laughs> more totally cheese, grommet. More cheese, grommet. I had to persuade him that he looked alright because I was like, I was like, I watched videos, I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. Like, it made me feel something. I felt like emotional. That's a great and song. We like, did that song. Hate so it. Yeah, I look, I look terrible. I, I know, can't. but when when you look at you, we're all critical of ourselves, aren't yeah. we? You know, and yeah, I was overcritical. I was right, there, wasn't I? You were right. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you just gotta be like, ah. Harry's right. <laughs> Harry's <laughs> always, always right. He rung his wife to see what she thought, and I was thinking, please say he looks good. And she went, oh, darling, you look amazing. He was like, oh, she, she says I look good. I was like, yes. The set that Danny's singing in there is the set of uh, Where Did All The Guitars Go? To save money, 
at the end of the day, <laughs> sure. we just sat down here on a stool and like, just sing the song. I don't know if it was ever meant to like feel the way that it feels. We're like, oh, we've got all this cool tour footage. Let's let's use that. And then when you put it together, like, oh, with the lyrics and stuff, it actually seems like we're saying, oh, we've been away on tour and now we've come back. Clever. I'm not sure if it was meant to be. <laughs> Unintentionally either. clever. It's one of my favorite, yeah, sure. if not my favorite video of all time. It's the most yep. simple video we've ever done, but for me, like it took the song lyrically to a new place. Um, and I love it. It's a great vocal from Danny, a great song written by Tom. Uh, me and Dougie, nothing to do with it. That's McFly at their best. Um, and... Did you see Danny's little kind of like, come on, man. Like, that's not true. But I know he was joking, but Danny, you could tell he was kind of, I'm going to go back 10 seconds. Sure. It's really sweet of Danny. You could tell he really loves these guys and he's gracious. He's saying that we can't do this band without you, despite that I might have sung it and Tom wrote mm -hmm. it. It doesn't matter. It was sweet. Just watch the very subtle. And I love it. It's a great vocal from Danny, a great song written by Tom. Uh, me and Dougie, nothing to do with it. That's McFly at their best. Um, and well, no, it's um, yeah, it's very sweet. It's yeah. one of my favorite songs we've ever done. So um. yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching. That was us reacting to some of our most memorable moments. That was some of our most iconic moments. <laughs> You get how they didn't title it. They're like, ugh. Yeah. I love their self-deprecating humor. They're not conceited. They don't have no ego. And Danny, he's just such a sweetheart of a guy. You can tell. He just seems, he almost seems very sweet, innocent. There's the difference between hmm. somebody who's just unaware and they're always being, hey, keep sure, up here, buddy. Sure, sure. He stays aloof. He doesn't and, want to be and, conceited or look conceited or... That's just it. Yeah, he, yeah. he's not trying to like... He's not trying to take the center stage. He certainly doesn't interrupt people when, you know, they say things. He lets yeah, people say what they need to I'm, say. Like I'm doing right now with you, I'm interrupting you. <laughs> exactly. I was trying to finish my thought and then you interrupted me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm terrible. <laughs> of all of them, Danny's my favorite. He's Yeah, I, I think, think we share that. Yeah. I think we would both fanboy... If we got the chance to meet somebody from McFly and they were like, you have to meet this one person, who do, who do you want to meet? Yeah. Danny, it, I'd, yeah. I'd say Danny. I love them all. And that's just, again, a hypothetical situation, Nathan, where somebody says you can only pick one, then my answer mm. would be Danny. But obviously, in a perfect world, had we ever had the chance to meet the band, we'd love to meet the whole band. Okay. Yeah, that Absolutely. was fun, Christian. I love watching these guys. They're, they're just great guys, great personalities. Mm -hmm. I think Nathan and I, in that hypothetical world, if we hung out with them, I think the six of us would have a lot of fun talking and hanging out. Yeah. I think it would be a very... I think we would get along with them. But alas, we're mm -hmm. nobody, and that will never happen. Anyways, uh, yeah. <laughs> fun stuff. They're great That's guys. Fun. Great music great performers and they're good guys too so good stuff thanks everyone for joining us and we will see you on the next one